Hello and welcome to Watch Me Edit, the series where I will edit a picture from the original RAW file to the finished image. And turn something like this into something like this. So let's jump straight into it. So first things first is I'm gonna reduce the highlights. I'm gonna do this with all of my pictures, especially landscapes. Here I won't do it as much as I do with most of my other pictures, just a tiny bit. Then I'm gonna increase the shadows, but I don't want those mountains to have too much detail because that would ruin the whole mood. That looks pretty well here, maybe a bit more. This picture was taken just before sunrise on the Portree Bay on the Isle of Skye in Scotland. So I'm gonna increase the whites a bit. Gonna hold down the ALT key, make sure nothing is clipped. Alright, gonna leave it there. That looks pretty well. Next thing, I'm gonna bring down the blacks. Not too much, just a tiny bit. Something along those lines. I want to remain this very soft and quiet look, so what I'm gonna do is even add some more minus clarity to give it even a softer look. And the same thing I'm gonna do with the contrast slider. Also put this on minus to give kind of a softer look. Now in terms of color, I really think this could use even more blue because I really like blue in this picture and I'm gonna add some magenta something along those lines. Not too much, just a hint. I'm not gonna mess with vibrance and saturation right now, I'm gonna do that later after I've done some more adjustments, so I'm gonna go down here to the tone curve bring up the highlight slightly on the tone curve slider not too much, something along those lines the highlights I think I'm gonna leave them where they were the darks just gonna play around with it don't think gonna change anything here as well and lastly the shadows maybe give it a little bit of a plus to the shadows just to give a little bit more detail over here Next thing, HSL tool, gonna pull the hue down and up on the blues to see whatever I like best. I really like this soft blue, this light blue, so I'm gonna leave it there. Same on saturation, playing around with it. I mm, think I'm gonna leave it at default as well. Luminance, maybe even gonna go down with the luminance slider a tiny bit just to give a little bit more detail and texture back into the blues. Next step, split toning. So I'm gonna go to the highlight slider and just play around with the color. I already know that I want some some purplish reds in the picture, maybe even go to pink, because I think that looks very beautiful on this photo and works really well. Make sure you don't overdo that, because otherwise it will ruin the mood. That looks pretty well. And in the shadow area, just gonna look at all the colors. Don't think gonna add too much of anything here. Maybe a tiny bit of dark blue. Something along those lines, just so the shadow parts of the image are a little bit more blue than the highlights. The highlights I want to be a little bit more reddish. So that looks very well, down to the detail tool, add some sharpening, definitely don't need too much here, maybe around 50, and then I'm gonna add a lot of masking so all of the water and the sky will not be sharpened. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna zoom in one to one here, I'm gonna go to the darker parts of the image, there's really not that much noise gonna add some color noise reduction as I always do around 40 works pretty well I don't think I need any luminance noise reduction right here because there's really not that much noise in this picture lens corrections gonna enable profile corrections for my Canon 18 to 55 kit lens and that will get rid of all of the vignetting and the distortion of the image remove chromatic aberration looks very good and I think I'm not gonna do anything else in the lens corrections module. Effects, I often like to add some vignetting on my pictures just to draw the attention of the viewer's eye to the center 
and I'm gonna do that here as well not too much and we're already down at the camera calibration tool if you've watched some of my previous editing videos we will know that I'm just gonna play around with all of those sliders and those profiles and choose whatever looks best to the picture so for this video I'm just gonna do that really quick off camera and cut right back to it alright so I'm back after messing around with those sliders here is the before and the after just a tiny bit of a difference and there's really not much to give you as a guide just play around with the sliders and choose whatever looks best alright so we're done with the global adjustments so what I'm gonna do is just add a radiant filter and drag it over all of this part of the horizon here of the sky and just add a little bit more orange just to give the image even more variety in terms of color always want to make sure that this looks very natural you don't overdo it alright so we're done with that and in case you haven't noticed already there is actually a moon in here but it's kinda on the very edge of the frame so what I'm gonna do is kinda bring it back down just a little bit so it's not so close to the edge of the image so how I'm gonna do that is zoom in here I think I want it around there I'm gonna select the spot removal tool make sure it's on heel select the size that is about the size of the moon and just press here but instead of just leaving up to Lightroom which place you want to fill in here I'm gonna drag it to the moon that looks really good and of course we don't want two moons on this picture so I'm gonna add another spot removal tool over this moon so this one disappears zooming back out again and now you can see this moon isn't so close to the edge of the image which I personally like very much better and now we're already about 90% done there's just a bit of detail adjustments left to do then another thing I'm gonna do is just cut out these boys you can see these boys here doesn't really add to the image I think it looks way cleaner if they aren't there so I'm gonna use the spot removal tool here and for this one up there as well pretty good these boys down here I don't really mind I think they work pretty well because they are attached to the boats and I think that looks pretty neat so next thing is I'm gonna do some dodge and burning meaning making some individual parts brighter or darker but in this particular case most likely brighter so I've added a radiant filter here just over the highlights a bit make sure it looks all natural always make sure the feather is to 100 so the light looks very natural you're gonna add or decrease just a tiny bit something along those lines duplicate it and drag it to another spot maybe here some more some more clarity gonna make it even longer and maybe even gonna add some yellow in the color temperature tab and what this does is it just adds a little bit more dynamic to the picture a little bit more interest so I think I'm done with the water down here so you can see this part of the sky is kind of overexposed compared to the right part of the image that is because on the left side was the sun so of course it's a little bit brighter here how I'm gonna fix that is I'm gonna add a pretty big radiant filter reset everything and just bring down the exposure slightly I always like if the sky is not totally even and there's kind of a difference in exposure and color but for this image it was just a bit too much without any gradient filter so that looks way better and now we're pretty much done all I'm gonna do now is gonna add some exposure with the adjustment brush to those ships I would do that way more carefully for my own picture but just for demonstration purposes I'm gonna do it kinda sloppy just gonna add some exposure so you can see the ships more clearly also a great thing you can do is create a new adjustment brush reset everything and pull down the clarity slider quite a bit about 50 works pretty well and just go over these waves right here you can see the waves here are a bit rougher than on the right side 
So if you want to smoothen them out just a little bit, you can do that this way. Alright, so we're pretty much done. The last process I do with all of my images is just zoom in one to one and check the skies for any dust or dirt spots I want to remove and remove them if there are any with the spot removal tool. I'm not gonna do this in this video because I already know that there aren't any dust spots on this particular image because I've already edited it before, but that's definitely something you wanna check for before you export a file. So here is the before any editing and here is the after. Definitely a huge difference while still remaining the beautifully silent and calm atmosphere. I want to thank you so much for watching my video. Please leave me a thumbs up if you find it helpful. If you have any comments, questions or feedback, leave them in the comment section down below. And please hit that red subscribe button for more photography related videos, Lightroom guides and Lightroom edits in the future, as well as a one year photography tour throughout all of Europe where I will be photographing the most beautiful landscapes and the most beautiful cities in Europe. And I'm gonna make a ton of videos about on location shoots, on location guides, just all kind of amazing stuff. So be sure to subscribe for that. Until then, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.